more than a million dollars, 60 firearms and countless drugs seized. This is called Operation Tourniquet. It was launched in May under the FBI Safe Streets Gang Task Force to target a slew of crimes and potential gang activity. Well, today, the athens Clark County Police Department, they held an, a press conference on that initiative. CBS 46's Mary Smith explains. 13 people are now facing federal charges. 11 were arrested yesterday and two were already here in the Athens Clark County Jail facing unrelated charges. This is a dangerous group of individuals and we wanted to take them off of our street. The Athens Clark County Police Department was joined by U.S. Attorney Peter Leary of the Middle District of Georgia to announce 13 more arrests for Operation Tourniquet. A seven month long multi-agency investigation into high level uh, members of the 1831 Piru criminal street gang. So in recent months, the Athens Clark County Police, uh, I'm sorry, the Athens Clark County community and our surrounding area has experienced an increase in uh, aggravated assaults involving firearms, and these were often committed by members of criminal street gangs. This is video of the Operation Thursday shot by the department. It shows law enforcement gathering at the police department's West End precinct before arresting the latest suspects. 60 firearms, including 14 assault rifles and four shotguns were seized, more than a kilo of fentanyl, 11 ounces of heroin, 13 kilos of powder cocaine, a kilo of crack cocaine, 12 and a half pounds of crystal methamphetamine, 25 pounds of marijuana, and more than a million dollars in U.S. currency have uh, been, seen, been seized thus far. Launched in May, the initiative involves dozens of law enforcement agencies across the metro area. Including those arrested yesterday, at least 37 people are facing charges. Uh, the investigation is not done. We do expect additional defendants, uh, additional charges, additional work in this case. And their detention hearings were continued until this upcoming Monday in federal court in Macon. In Athens, Mary Smith, CBS 46 News. Mary, thank you.